Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss about the interrupts, which are a very essential part of any microcontrol system. These are present on the Raspberry Pi Pico and are also present on most of the microcontroller units available, like the Arduino or the PIC or Atmel. So first, let me show you the demonstration of this project. So first, let me run the MicroPython script. So here what we are doing, the main program is blinking the green and the blue LED continuously while there is a push button here. This is the push button. As soon as we press the push button, what happens? The logic will go from the main program to the interrupt service routine that is also known as the interrupt handler function and it will increment a counter by one and print the counters value on the screen. So first, see first we have run the program, nothing is showing. The main program is blinking the green and the blue LED. So now as soon as we press this push button on the screen, you will say the increment value. See the counter is one and it is printing inside the interrupt handler function and now after that the logic returns back to the main program. Now we press this push button again, press this again, the counter is incrementing and note the longer we press it the more the counter will increment by. So these are the number of times the interrupt is taking place and for simplicity always try to keep the increment handler function very precise and very up to the point and you should not use any kind of complex logic or complex iterations inside the interrupt handler function because that will create unnecessary errors in the main program. Now let us have a look at the MicroPython code for this interrupt program. First you have to import the given libraries. So from machine you have to import pin and you have to import mu time. It is also read as micro time or mu time. Then you have to import the counter. Sorry, you have to declare a counter. This counter will take care of the number of times the loop is running. Then you have to declare the pin objects. You make a pin at which is named as red pin. Give it the ID of 16. Mode equals to pin dot out means it is set as an output with a value of 1. 1 means the LED is off because the LED is a common anode type LED. Therefore, if you give 1, it will be off by default. Similarly, do it for the green pin at pin number 17. This is mode is output and value is 1. Similarly, you have to do it for the blue LED. You make a pin which is named as blue pin. Now you have to make a button pin which is dedicated for the push button. You named it as you named it as button pin equals to this is the constructor. You have to give the ID 19. Tell the mode it is an input. So you have to write pin dot in and you have to tell the type of the pull whether it is a pull up or pull down. So we will use here as a pull down. Now you have to make the interrupt handler function. Use this keyword def in the name of the function and here you have to give the by default positional argument that is pin. Instead of pin you can also write this button pin. Both are the same thing when you are having only one interrupt in the program. You can write pin or you can also write button pin or pin simply. And then you have to make, you have to access this global variable counter. So you have to write global counter because we want to access this variable inside the function. 
so you have to use this keyword global then you have to increment the counter by one print counter equals to the value of this variable counter again print inside the interrupt handler function you can print anything that you want and that suits your requirement and now you have to attach the interrupt to the button pin we want that any time the button is pressed we have this function called upon so you attach the interrupt to this button pin that is gpio 19 so you will use this pin object dot this irq method you will write button pin dot irq irq is a method which will take two parameters two named parameters first one is the trigger to write trigger equals to pin dot irq rising it means that the interrupt pin which is pin number 19 which is set to the pull down that is zero logic level whenever the pin number 19 turns from logic 0 to logic 1 the voltage is rising the interrupt will be triggered that will be handled by the interrupt handler this is the second named argument that is equal to alert alert is the name of the interrupt service routine function this this name and this name should be the same because every time the trigger occurs and a interrupt takes place this function has to be called okay so after attaching the interrupt to the button pin you will write the main logic here i am creating an infinite loop while true and then turn on the green led turn off the green led then turn the blue led on and turn the blue led off this is the simple logic of the main program for this demonstration green on for one second sleep green off then blue on sleep and blue off note active low the leds are active low it means that when you pull the second pin of the led low it will turn on because the led is a common anode type you have to change it according to your needs and your programs so what interrupt will do while true this main logic program will be running continuously and as soon as the person presses the push button like i have already showed you in the demo what will happen the logic will move from the main program to this interrupt service routine and this code will be executed as soon as this code execution is completed the logic will re uh, will return back to the main program so in this way interrupts are a very useful tool when we want to monitor the state of any gpio or the state of any sensor but we do not want to give the total computational power in the main loop or in the main program therefore we use interrupts so that is the total code and uh, thank you for watching this video